It's Jimmy, Scott, and Diggerman from the Theme Park Podcast. Are you looking to finally make that move to Orlando? Maybe you already live here and want to be closer to the parks. Use the official real estate agent of the Theme Park Podcast, LaurenCampbellRealtor.com. Lauren helped my mom both buy and sell her house. I bought a house of 10 years with Lauren. Didn't you marry her? Shush. I love my real estate agent, and you will too. Call Lauren Campbell at 407-325-4225. That's 407-325-4225. Goldwell Banker Realty. And welcome to the Theme Park Podcast pre-show. It is Dickerman, Jimmy D, Scott Harris, all back to our normal uh, Thursday night. Journey was amazing. Wait, oh, that's right. You did Journey. Are we going to just gloss over the normal comment? We, When I make a <laughs> grammatical error, we are to gloss over it. It's in my contract. But it, yeah, but normal was like, that's wasn't that Garfield's best friend? Yeah, well, I was watching no, that's Garfield the, before he came over. Normal's the girl that like was obsessed with him and he couldn't stand her no normal was the little cat that he hated wasn't that's he? what i mean yeah that's what i mean he hated oh, her yeah yeah and he always wanted Wait. to mail her off to india or normal's uh, a girl yes I, you know. <laughs> I believe it i mean i don't i don't really i didn't know what normals 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 uh gender was i guess I really <laughs> thought about it i mean odie was a boy yes yeah uh garfield was a boy mm-hmm. right i could see normal being a girl yeah and, and garfield did have a girlfriend did he yeah i forgot her name simone something like that huh i'm, I'm now looking up garfield's girl garfield normal well, both, all of it. I mean, well, John Garfield liked, and friends. John liked the vet, but she didn't have much interest in him. He they, was a loser. They did end up getting together at one point. Yeah, and I don't think yeah. I think he messed it up. Well, probably he's John. Normal is a small gray male tabby cat. Ah, so got, he's a male. Yep. Huh. And it, does it say uh, the girlfriend's name? That uh, there's Arlene. Arlene. I'm assuming it's Arlene. Okay. Okay. Not even close to Simone. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I could see it. I mean, it's a little bit of a. I don't. Wanna, I don't know if it, the word is exotic, but it's not a common name. Hmm. Arlene and Simone. You don't see it. It's not like Beth or Jennifer. You don't see it every day. Okay. Do you guys want to do a uh, podcast? You know that Garfield has an illegitimate son. What Garfield? Yeah. What's the kid's name? Bill the cat. Bill. Which I think is a character from like the Bloom County comic strip. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So but I don't know how. Did John not have Garfield spayed or neutered? I don't. Like I Bob don't Martin? know. <laughs> because he should have been spayed or neutered. I uh, granted well, he was not an outside cat, but he could get out and cause things like this. Mm-hmm. I know. I did see the Halloween Adventure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he ends up outside. I mean, once a cat gets out, forget it. It's, <laughs> it's no longer an indoor cat. And remember, in the upcoming Garfield movie, you'll be voiced. By Chris Pratt. That seems like a bad choice by Pratt. I, now, granted, I understand, you know, money is money, and they probably backed the Brinks truck up to his house, but still, there's or, never been a good Garfield movie. That or, guy, uh, he just doesn't say no, does he? Well, remember, after he, he's going to be doing this role after he does the role of Mario in the Super Mario Brothers movie. Oh, that's right. Mario! Pratt's just like, I'll, I'll do whatever. I don't care. I'm up, I'm up for it. He's no Nick Cage. I think he's the anti-Nick Cage, where he brings no. his star power and makes things that are crappy good. No, what he's like is Samuel L. Jackson. Oh, yeah. Samuel L. Jackson somehow <laughs> made a movie called Snakes on a Plane mm-hmm. a massive hit. Yeah, I, I mean, Chris Pratt does do some movies that aren't very good. Passengers. The, that one with J Law. That but, was good. But what? he got to hang out with J Law for like the whole movie. Uh-huh. It was not a bad movie either. I know it wasn't well reviewed, but I didn't mind. I didn't I mind liked it. it. I didn't mind it. Tomorrow War. I like that. I don't care what anybody says. I like Tomorrow War. Did you watch it? It's on Amazon. No, I haven't seen it yet. Okay. It's pretty good. You got Prime. Oh, I've been I've been Prime. I've been on your Prime for million years that went out this week. Yeah, the uh, Amazon changed your policy. Finally changed the policy. I was, it, was yeah. like, it was almost 10 years, I think. I was in Jimmy's family. <laughs> I was in Jimmy's family plan. I'm like, hey, this isn't free shipping. What happened? <laughs> I know. Evil. It did it to me. Oh, <laughs> and oh it, no. And then Lauren and I uh, go into it. And like, like, let me see who's at it. And she's like, oh, I can only have one person. Yeah. And we have to share a wallet. Jeez, that Bezos guy, man. Yeah, and then so we, we put me back on there. And we're like, 
I think Dickerman was still in our account. Sorry, She's like, sorry. I don't think he was. And like, we had a conversation. She's like, all right, whoever was on our account, they'll probably reach out to us and let us know. Sorry <laughs> to all the former uh, <laughs> former people in the friends and family, but Amazon Bezos needed more money. So you guys are out. Get your own prime. It's kind of, well, you know. We were grandfathered in for a long time on that deal. Yeah. It was a nice run. All right. So, uh, enough Garfield and Amazon. Should we yes. do a, a let's do a, We should do a theme park podcast. All right, let's do a theme park <laughs> podcast. The theme park podcast coming down in three, two, one. From the theme park capital of the world, Orlando, Florida, this is the theme park podcast. Wait, podcast? Is this on the radio? Why does everything got to be so messy on this station? Anyway, here's your host, Dickerman, Jimmy D, and Scott Harris. And welcome to the Theme Park Podcast. It is Dickerman. There's Jimmy D. What's going on, fellas? And Scott Harris joins us as well. Hi, guys. How's everybody doing this week? I'm great. We have another beautiful uh, bit of weather here in Central Florida again. We've got a little break from the heat this coming weekend. Might be a fantastic time to go to the theme parks. It's brisk right now. Is I, I wonder if this is going to last the weekend because I feel like this is going to be one of those short-lived, like cool fronts. Like we went from the 90s to we're in the 80s. It's nice, but I feel like within three days we'll be back in the 90s again. It's it's just going to come raging back. But we don't hit 90s until Thursday. These are the days to take advantage uh, if. If you're a goer of the parks, uh, I still suggest going in the evenings because that is when it's the absolute best. Mm -hmm. Uh, People have been worn out and they leave. Um, But these are the days to take advantage of when the weather's like this because it's absolutely beautiful out right now. Yeah. It was nice and windy all day today. Yeah. And it's windy right now as we sit here in the Lauren Campbell Realtor.com Tebow Gazebo Studios. It is. It's a wonderful evening. So there's a uh, number of things to cover in the news tonight. Uh, Let me ask you guys this first. Have you seen very many reviews or discussions on the guardians ride because i know a lot of cast members have ridden it at this point i've seen everything everything see, everything see so I, you've been you've been digging and looking for every like you don't want to save any secrets i mean at the end of the day it's a ride yeah right, mm-hmm. right. um so i was told uh third hand from someone that you know knows a cast member that wrote it they said it was you know, amazing, mm-hmm. just uh, an incredible ride and a lot of different, you know, they probably couldn't articulate all of the details, mm-hmm. but I imagine uh, with your sleuthing and your your coverage on the World Wide Web, you might have a little more details than that. If you wanted to, if you want to look up a lot of things, you can. That's that's a, a, the gist of it. We discussed the songs last week, which the song choices are great. And Disney Parks themselves released video footage from the ride. That's right. I have not like a ride along. I don't know if I want to watch it. It's yet. only like twenty seconds. No, yeah. and you know, I was just thinking about Tron. We can already see what that ride through is like on Shanghai. Exactly. That ride already. Yeah, that ride right. already exists. Yeah. But the Guardians ride is a first of its kind. Um, you know, as far as it's just not a replication of something else, mm-hmm. it is, it is which, a completely new ride, which is kind of a rarity these days with Disney World. Yeah, I feel like almost re- every ride, except for well, Rise of the Resistance, they started building in California first. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Ratatouille ride already exists in uh, France, mm-hmm. so it's like this is one of the first times we're getting something that's brand new. Just for Disney World. The funny thing to me about both Ratatouille, uh, Mickey and Minnie, Rise of the Resistance, that trackless uh, program, is that SeaWorld really was the first that we saw in our area to have it. They had that on the Penguin account. That was the first one to yeah. use that technology. Now, I don't know where it originally came from, but mm-hmm. they were the first ones to bring that technology out and, and put it to use. Yeah. And they've figured out how to have success with it. Yeah. They, I don't, you know, is that ride up and running again? Because I remember during COVID, um, it was shut down because they said uh, people got too close together, blah, blah, blah. So last last I saw, it still wasn't up and running, but it's been uh, probably a year since I've been to SeaWorld at this point. Haven't been to SeaWorld since 2020. <laughs> I need to go. I need to go back. SeaWorld, SeaWorld, I mean, they've got the, the new rides out there. They've got a lot going on. They're already clearing land for another uh, roller coaster. Really? Yep. Man, they're moving. They're, they're doing okay over there. Their Th- stocks are up like... They're up, way up, whereas Disney is down. Yeah. They've they figured out what the niche is. People want to. People just want a roller coaster park, and that is what they're going to give them now. Go ride roller coasters, and when you want to take a break from the coasters, you can enjoy the the animals and the scenery and the nature. I mean, it's a beautiful park out there. Or just their their uh, Seven Seas craft beer and, and food festival. That's true. They're that just as well. They're literally just giving the people exactly what they want. Yeah. 
Yeah, we were talking about them today because somehow the subject of Jaws came up, and I'm like, that was a terrible bit of marketing to say, you know what, let's make a movie in our park about a shark breaking through the supposedly indestructible glass. Was it, was it though? I feel like it wasn't like the shark in the lagoon, well, the shark it's, breaking through the shark encounter. It's a, it's a little bit different. No, what, what it was is uh, with Jaws 3D, mm -hmm. w what the premise was is this particular SeaWorld, which was, yes, filmed in Orlando, but it, this like universe SeaWorld was on the coast someplace. Mm -hmm. So it was connected to the ocean. And the Although and it was called SeaWorld Orlando. In the movie. <laughs> Whoops. Well, but, in the movie, uh, except we, pretended, for, or, we pretended Orlando was by the ocean. <laughs> like, 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 people don't. It's the 80s. Nobody looks at a map. They don't have they don't have Google Maps to look and see it's two hours away. Does it have a, a year on it? Oh, like what year the movie came out? Yeah, yeah. 80, 84? 83. 83. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I, I, I always felt like looking at it, well, that's a bad piece of marketing. And I would imagine people in the market department, you know, as the movie's getting done, oh, guys, I don't know if we made the right choice here. I understand it's a lot of free publicity, but it's this good publicity. There was one guy, oh, all publicity is good publicity. You're good. You're fine. Exactly. Well, to be fair, they did kill a shark at the end, so. Save the day. Yeah, and, you know, so. Dennis Quaid saved the day. What was, you know, causing the problem is, you know, definitively gone. So it's safe to return to the park. That is true. Um, anyhow, back to the Guardians ride. Have you seen anything uh, even remotely negative? I imagine, you know, the people that have ridden it, you know, are for the most part work for the company. So it's good to be, be like as uh, upset about. It's a new ride. It's a beloved IP. Mm -hmm. it, uh, by all accounts, it's an amazing ride. So I don't I don't think there's going to be any poo-pooing until you can't get in there because it broke down and the line was too long or A, B, C, or D. But yeah. the actual ride itself, I don't think we're probably going to see anything negative about it. Can I tell you guys one tiny little thing? Yeah. Of kind of one of the hosts throughout the, the uh, queue. Please. I can tell you, unless Jimmy. The, no, no, please tell me. Terry Crews. I did hear uh, that I, he had some sort of something in the Guardians. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I heard he was coming to the MCU, and now I understand how. <laughs> so he's going to be, is he going to? He's a Novacore. I was going to say, is he a Novacore He's guy? a Novacore, yeah. yeah. He's like he'd be a great Novacore officer. I wonder if he's going to be a Novacore officer in uh, Guardians 3. Or... That could be. Well, yeah. the weird thing is, is that this is the theme park MCU. No, and I, I get that, but that's why I'm like, hope. Mm -hmm. I have hope that Terry Crews going to be in the uh, next Guardians film. Or at least the holiday special. The holiday special. <laughs> yeah, um, I think he'll be great. He, he'll, he'd be a great Nova Corps officer, too. You, yeah. know, you know that's a real thing, right? Is it? They're going to do a Guardians coming holiday out, special? It's coming out this year. Yeah, it's coming out this fall. And well, this when's, winter, when's the movie? Next year. Next year. Okay, well, so that'll that'll hold us over. I'm playing the Guardians game. They released a new game you mm -hmm. know, within the last, I don't know, three or four months. I guess six months. I'm not sure. It's pretty great. It's a good, they did a really good job on the game. They don't have, it's not the MCU Guardians, but they still did a really nice job on it. Yes. So if you need a new game to play, I think it's like 10 bucks on Gameplay right now. I know, there's years. I got there's so many games I need, because I still haven't even played the new Halo game, and I just saw there, like a, there's a trailer out for Kingdom Hearts 4. Mm. I haven't played the new Elder Scroll, which is supposed to be really good. The more podcast. You mean the El uh, or Elden Ring? Whatever, same thing. So, okay, <laughs> let's get into some theme park news. Let's do it! Theme park news. First big bit of news. This is solely for Dickerman. Okay. Okay. Disney World teases the arrival of Magic Band Plus later this year. What does that mean? What is what does Magic Plant? What's Magic oh Band God. Plus mean? Ugh. We've talked about it on the show before. Okay, tell we're me gonna, again. We're putting you in a home. Uh, mag it's basically like a super Magic Band that can be interactive. Oh, the light one. Yeah, I remember that now. I just didn't know what it was called. <laughs> uh huh. Why is everything plus now? Yeah, this is why when you order food for him, you mm. have to just say, "Do you want chicken to the fish?" You can't say like, you know, chicken the, al gratin or something. The details he just, go out like you, I, you like you little. I remember, it's the light up magic man. That's all <laughs> I need. What kind of salad dressing would you like, sir? Uh, orange. Yes. <sighs> so that's coming later this year. Permit's been filed for the demolition of the Spirit of Aloha building at the Polynesian. R.I.P. Oh, I'm trying to think of what that building is, like where it is. It's on, where the it's, dinner show was. It, you remember we were on the path? Mm -hmm. it, it was on to our left oh. when we were walking on the path. And remember I was like, hey, Tom Banks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're going to tear that down, huh? Yep. What are they going to put there? That's, Why they, that's that, where the DVC tower is going. Oh, okay. Yep. That makes sense. Uh, the uh, new connect, uh, Connections Eatery has opened at Epcot. So a new place to eat. A new place to eat. 
they needed that at Epcot. I mean, if you're not doing the, you know, whatever the food festival is that's currently going on, mm-hmm. they need another sit down place. Now, this takes the place of the old big one in that kind of circular building, was it right? The Kim Possible or the uh, electric umbrella? Electric, electric umbrella. umbrella. Yeah, umbrella. Because yeah. that was like a main city. That was kind of like the main hub if you were just going to eat in the park. Don't know if I've ever actually went in the building. It was a cool building because yeah. it had upstairs and downstairs. So there was always a place to find a sit because that can be a challenge sometimes when the parks are busy. You can't find a place to sit indoors and you're like standing up at a hot table in the sun. Yeah, that, that was a great place to just pop in, grab a, you know, a, a side of fries and just chill out for a half an hour. And yeah. I believe that place, they didn't have the cheese, but they were one of the only places on property where they had a uh, drink where you could refill your own drink. So, you know, normally you get a drink and they fill it up and they hand it to you. That's it. And you drink it all. You're out of luck. Mm-hmm. You could go get refills at the electric umbrella. Backstage, the Backstage Express at uh, Hollywood's got that, too. They got that now, too? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That was a place where they were giving away free drinks for a little while during COVID if you bought food. Would you like a complimentary drink? I'm like, wait, this is Disney. You're giving me a drink? This is like $9 normally. <laughs> Disney's currently celebrating halfway to Halloween with some specialty food items. Okay. I did see they had a squeak peek of their merchandise for uh, yes, Mickey's Not So Scary. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. They have the Lady on the Gravestone Push Pop being sold at the Magic Kingdom. Okay. Does it have like a synopsis flavors, anything? A push pop with citrus cake crumbs, raspberry buttercream, and crisp pearls. That doesn't sound terrible. It's cake. That sounds, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's right up your alley. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's sugar. <laughs> exactly. Sugar and flour, thanks. The full dates and prices are out for Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween Party. Oh. It's going to sell out again this year. So we've got multiple prices for various days, depending on the days. Variable pricing. About? Okay, so it is, uh, we are at the end of April. Want to guess when the first date is? September 16th. May 1st. <laughs> Jimmy is closest. Oh, August 12th is oh the first God. night. How? That's dead of summer. You're I not, know. You're not even waiting until like September anymore. It used to be at least after the holiday in September. Yeah, yeah. You just wait till then and then go. But, well, so no more villains not I, I assume that, that, that whole attempt at doing that during the summer didn't pan out? As of right now, nothing. Mm. I think that was just a casualty of, you know, the pandemic. Yeah. Pandemic took so many things from us. And the prices start at uh, 109 for some nights, and uh, towards the end of October goes up to $199. <gasps> what? 200 bucks For one night at the park? Like for four hours? For five four hours? hours, yes. Oh my goodness. And people pay this? To the point that it sells out, yes. That's madness. I mean, I get no, it's it. it's Sparta. I, I get it. It's a, it's a neat event, but wow, I just... Financially, to me, I'm just like, wow, I couldn't, I couldn't imagine. The that. thing is, if you do it, you can actually get into the park as early as four o'clock. Yeah. So it's at seven o'clock when they kick out the people that don't have tickets for not so scary. Y'all get out. You don't have a ticket? Get out. Get out. Well, I, that's another situation. How do they find everybody still? I feel like people have to try well, and hide. When we out. went, uh, we went early because we had a reservation for dinner in the park, and then we were just going to roll into not so scary. They banded you yes. at four o'clock. Yep. You had to go through a a special turnstile, like off to the side, and they banded you. And then that way, as they were filtering people through the park, if you didn't have a band, you had a right. So they have this. You couldn't get on any of the attractions. Specific wristbands. Correct. Okay. So there will be uh, the return of the headless horseman at the front of the parade. Okay. That's awesome. Which is always awesome. There will be all the Disney characters and villains throughout the park. The hocus pocus villain spectacular returns to the Cinderella Castle. They got to do something special with the Sanders and Sisters with Hocus there's, Pocus two coming out this year. There's a sequel coming out. Yep, and there's uh, in the past there's been Halloween overlays for some of the other rides. Oh, that's cool. Yes. That's fun. I mean, that's it's unique and special to make you know paying that extra charge, ex, you know, extra cool. And of course, there's the candy as well. Absolutely. There's, there's no free beverages though, right? Just free candy. It is just free candy. When we went, Jimmy, um, for the villains, yeah, it was. It was all the ice cream was free, right? Was that what it was? It was all the ice cream, and I think you could get, like, what if they had, like, 20-ounce Cokes oh, or, like, good. Coke Sprite or yeah, Diet Coke? Yeah, they would just give you a bottle, right? Yeah. Or yeah. they were just afraid to tell you that you have to pay. Jimmy walked up jokingly, told the lady, give me one of everything. She starts pulling it out. She's like, <laughs> oh, she's kidding. I mean, give it to you. She was going to give it to him. Yeah. I'm so disappointed I didn't bring, like, my Culver's cooler. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we're getting to Culver's by the house, by the way, too. 
Are you? That's yeah. bad news for you. Yeah, bad news for me. <laughs> it's bad news for the button on his pants. <laughs> it's already complaining as it is. <laughs> uh, and for those on the West Coast, the Oogie Boogie Bash will be returning this year as well. That's their equivalent. Of do they do they still do it better than us over there? Is there is there a they still just better? do it differently than us? Okay. The only thing I'm really jealous is that they get the uh, Nightmare Before Christmas Haunted Mansion. Correct. Yeah, I want true. that. Why can't we do that? Why can't we pull it off? I, I, when I used to be there for broadcast, I would ask every single time. And they just didn't have We're any. working on getting it over here. Nobody knows. That's it's exactly so, what they probably say every it's time. a big company. Nobody knows what's, uh, what's but, happening. By the way, we've talked about this before. Uh, Moon Knight in the park right now. Oh, that's over in California. Yeah. He's uh, over there, huh? Also, Ant-Man and the Wasp are walking around with a shrunken version of the Bugs Life attractions. That's funny. That's really cool. That's that's wonderful. <laughs> that's cool. And it was just announced this week that ahead of the uh, debut of Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, that uh, America Chavez, uh, one of the newest characters in that movie, will be at California Mentor as well. Huh. I don't know who, the, who plays that character. Uh, Sochi Gomez. She's a newcomer. Oh, okay. I'm not familiar with her. But yeah, when's that movie coming out? Soon, right? Next week. Oh, I better get my tickets. I got uh, my tickets today for Jurassic Park Dominion or D Jurassic World Dominion. Oh, yes. that's what your text was about. I was like, what's, what? what's JP Dominion? I thought it was you, you, you were doing something with your friend JP. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't know. Um, basically, her powers is she can punch holes between dimensions. Ooh, I like that. That's yeah. a good power. Yeah. That's and they're star shaped. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm all for it. They, this Doctor Strange is supposed to be amazing. Yes. That's everybody. It's like the anti Morbius. <laughs> uh -huh. So good. Uh -huh. yeah. it's, like, Morbius was terrible, so Doctor Strange will be good. Or people are calling it like Spider Man on steroids because the, all the rumored cameos in the movie. Yeah, there's apparently a lot, and I haven't seen a single rumor. You know, I I know uh, Scarlet Witch for sure, but outside of that, um, wait, Scarlet Witch is in it? Well, it's yeah, it's, it's one of the. I mean, it's in the trailer. She's Let's there. tell them who we really are. Uh, there's a new trailer that uh, just came out. Uh, hours ago that I'm like okay oh really should I even watch it is it going to give away too much can I just wait should I wait does it spoil too much I, I'm trying not to watch trailers because I feel like they do give away too much all I'm going to say is make sure you're cut up on what if I watched all the what ifs yeah. then you're good okay I watched all the what ifs over at Universal yeah, what's going on over there? Beginning Besides, May third, it will be the annual pass holder uh, celebration. They they have like I went for that one year. They have a crazy amount of pass holders. Like yes, I was like, I'm one this of them. is all pass holders. I was blown away by how many people were there. Benefits will include uh, special resort rates, brand new magnets, exclusive dining locations, and secret menu items. Mm, okay. Pizza fries are probably one of them. That's like the big. <laughs> that is one of the big things that they do. They're beloved. Um, yeah, Universal does a great job of taking care of the pass holders. I yes, will they say do. That. And the, the pass holders seem to be incredibly loyal um, to the parks out there. Yes, um, and uh, they've begun hiring externally for Halloween Horror Nights. Ooh. And it begins. And it, can they hire Wait, while they're doing that? It's April. <laughs> they should do like a draft situation. Like, okay, uh, sir, ma'am, you want to work Halloween Horror Nights? That's great. We will hire you, but you're going to have to serve six months at the concession stands because we <laughs> don't have anybody to work there right now. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, I know people that have had to audition every year. They yeah. seem to every year. And I've seen people that I knew did it for years and years didn't get hired on the next year. Yeah. Whatever the reason was, you know, who knows? But, you know, they've done it, you know, every year since like 90 something and then they didn't get back, brought back in like 2017. And you know what? Speaking of entertainment that they've done, uh, they actually uh, recently have started more street performers mm -hmm. uh, like around uh, the park. Uh, they have one called the City Force, the Streetmosphere team, which basically is kind of like uh, what they used to have at uh, Hollywood Studios. OK, but. Uh, for budget reasons, they got rid of all of the street atmosphere. They did get rid of the street atmosphere there, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the one street performer I don't like at Universal are those guys that play the drums. They come out and play the drums. They're like, I don't know if they're like construction. You don't like those guys? Smaller, this is a smaller traveling version of that. Yeah, I don't You like don't that. like the, uh, oh God, what is the Street beats? Yeah, I, get, I just get annoyed. <laughs> just like, God, you're, you're making things crowded now, and you're noisy. Just, no, I got to get out of here. You weren't a fan of Stomp, were you? Nope. No, no, and I just, I just, yeah, I'm, 
that's me. You know, I don't like shows. No, and I don't it, like street performers this showing is up and causing crowds. Only because you have a teenager at home and you just want quiet. Beat builders. That's beat the beat builders. builders. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't care for the beat builders. A high energy percussion show that incorporates materials and equipment that can be found on a typical construction site. Yeah, to well, me, I'm it, just like this. It is a very cool show, and they actually. What they'll do, like, and the reason I'm bringing this up is because last time I got invited out there by them, oh. that was one of the things they took us to. Ah, okay. And they will actually take, like, a tuning fork or something, and they will go out to the hardware store, and they will bang the wrenches to get, make sure they got the wrench with the right tone. I mean, kudos to them. I just look at it and go, this is a waste of your money. I don't like this, and uh, <laughs> you spent money on this now, and now it's making the, the street crowded, and it's noisy. I forgot how many like shows they had. They, Frog Choir, Cel, uh, Celestina Warbeck and the Banshees, uh, Marilyn Monroe, uh, the Blues Brothers is still like they show they, up. Yep. Yeah, like they still have all of this stuff. The Scooby Crew, the Simpsons will pop out there. SpongeBob I mean, they Crew. Have, they have people show up all the time. Secret Life of Pets. They'll do that parade. They got the dance with the minions mm -hmm. after the. Uh, I, don't, I think they still do that. Yeah. Um, when you when you get off the ride, so yeah, they've got a they've got a lot of stuff out there. Even the Harry Potter stuff, they would have the Harry Potter choir, the Frog Choir. Oh, is that what it was? Yep. That's what it's called. Yeah, the Frog and the, choir. what do they call them? The Bocatons or not? Uh, Bobaton. Yeah. Yeah. And lastly, uh, pour one out for the Fear Factor Live sign. Uh oh. So now we're getting ready, and we're, the word is this is a Harry Potter thing. Hopefully not a uh, Harry Potter uh, Fantastic, Fantastic Beast. Fantastic Beast. Because that Don't seems think so. to be, it's losing uh, favor. Like this one's Dumbledore, and mm -hmm. they, they made mm -hmm. less money than ever. I haven't seen it, but I'm starting to think if they make another one, it's going to have. Uh, the, the, I'm I, I, like, are we going to put like James and Lily Potter in the next one? You might as well <laughs> at this point. I mean, I I saw it and it was fine. Uh, and they did mix in more Dumbledore, and they did go to Hogwarts and everything to try and give you a little bit of magic. But it seems like you know, it's just it's not the same. Mm -hmm. It's not the same as the Harry Potter franchise, and it's gone downhill every time. Um, it is. It was very. It was very Disney-like in the beginning because it was sad and murderous. Mm. A lot of, a lot of death. <laughs> Did you go home and watch Bambi afterwards? Yeah, I mean, it was basically, it basically was Bambi. Like my wife turned me, she's like, "This is horrible!" In the first five minutes of the movie. Or you should have gone to go see the Northman afterwards. I did see the Northman. Oh, it was so good, wasn't it? It was. It was. The pacing was a little hey, off to it, me. You know, usually we don't devolve into the this movie is true. theme this park. Is true. But, uh, yeah, so we were, we, were, we were talking about the Harry Potter uh, franchise, but I imagine the new Harry Potter thing will indeed be Harry Potter and likely a Quidditch run of some sort, right? It's either that or, uh, well, no, it's supposed to be, uh, the rumor has been it's going to be a VR broom experience. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you did talk about that. Well, yeah. I'm curious how they're going to pull that off. That Probably be... pretty well. <laughs> they've pulled off everything they've done with Harry Potter. They've pulled off really well. That's right. That is true. I don't and know. That's not flight of bad. That flight of the hippogriff, man. That, that is a barf coaster. Well, that, is, not, that is a barf machine. Oh, I mean, that's that, that's the that was a legacy one though. That was uh, the flight of the unicorn. Oh, that's right. No, that one's not the. Yeah, that's right. Flight of hippogriff is just the unicorn. The other one with the broomstick. While technologically amazing, it makes me feel like I'm gonna puke if I ride it more than once. Yeah. That's yeah, it's a little. It's a tough one. Oh, by the way, a thing that we have been asking for at Disney. Mm -hmm. For the uh, the cars driving thing, yes, Tomorrowland Speedway, yes, that thing at Universal Studios Hollywood, they have uh, a studio tour, mm -hmm. which Jimmy maybe will be going to go do. Yeah, I don't know they're gonna have time. Oh, if you Make had time, time, you would go do it. Make yes, time. they now have electric trams. Oh, look at that! See yep. that? It is California after all. That it's electric, time. but. Why can't everyone just do it? Let's do it. <laughs> like, the trams are back for the parking lots here. Have electric ones. Let's do it. I'm, what, I'm all for it. You don't want to be able to not hear everybody around you when the tractor pulls away? <laughs> exactly, yeah. 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 So... All right, well, TikTok at the Theme Park Podcast or watch at the Theme Park YouTube.com. One day I'm going to look up our TikTok thing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see what it looks like. Good. Do still it. Haven't, still haven't been there. All right. <laughs> the show comes to you live from the Lauren Campbell Realtor. Oh, the show comes to you live from the Lauren Campbell Realtor.com, Tebow Gazebo Studios for Jimmy D and Scott Harris. I'm Dickerman. Until next time, we'll see you out of the parks. Park Podcast. Follow the show on Facebook and Instagram at the Theme Park Podcast to catch up on. Ed, we're clear. I think I might have a growth on my brain. I'm having a hard <laughs> time saying LaurenCampbellRealtor.com now.
Yep. The real when I get to the realtor, it's the wheel. It's the wheelter. Lauren Campbell wheelter. Buy your wheels from <laughs> Lauren Campbell. She's got the sickest wheels in town. <sighs> yeah, we're gonna put you in a home, buddy. Yep. I don't want to go in a home. Well, we'll put you in the cheapest one we can find. Shady Pines for you, Ma. Yeah. Hey, you're not gonna get a good one. You don't have good, I don't think they have cheap ones anymore. They don't. They, we'll find one. I wish you could find one. We're gonna find you the one that Ben Stiller is working at. What movie was that from? Happy Gilmore. Oh, I don't think I remember that scene. It's been a long time since they've seen Happy Gilmore. You remember the Mr. Missile Lady? I think I just killed her. <laughs> uh, yeah, Northman. I like. I, my wife hated it. Chucker. Yeah, it was just the pacing was a little slow. It was a little plotting. Mm-hmm. Uh, plenty of good violence. The, Dude the, catches a speed knife. I thought he pulled a knife out and sliced it off. Really okay. Quick. I thought that he reached down and he went. That's what I thought. Okay. But you know, it went by very quickly. And then that guy got a comeuppance. Yeah. yeah. Uh, headbutts. Headbutts. A uh, headbutt is a highly underrated move. I just that all the HGH. I'm assuming. Oh yeah. <laughs> all of the yeah. all of the HGH that dude was on. Yeah, you don't you don't get Jack like that. His neck some, was like without some some medicinal oh, de- oh, yeah, augmentation. That's a that's a stack. An HGH, you know, would if you're getting bilked up like that, one would generally have that in their stack. Or when he climbs up the side of a fort with just one axe. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he was uh, he was looking ripped, Mr. Skarsgård was. I mm-hmm. for a while I'm like, "Wait a minute." Do they somehow maybe CGI his body because he is too muscular? Because <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. this guy's not normally like that. He's like kind of like a little bit of a bean pole. He's not. I mean, he's still got muscles, but yeah. Yeah, not like not like that. He's not like his brother. He's not like uh, Bill. Yeah, no, the clown guy. <sighs> that was a uh, yeah. Now I gotta go see the Nick Cage movie. Oh yeah, that's my next one. Yeah, that's my wife's dying to see that. Because I saw everything everywhere all at once, mm-hmm. and now Northman, and uh, yeah. Nick Cage, and then Doctor Strange. And then Doctor Strange. And maybe I'll see Secrets of Dumbledore somewhere in between. I mean, you have the thing. I mean, it's it's fine to connect the path, you know, for the other movies. And there was Hogwarts in there, and Dumbledore was in there. and All the Dumbledores? Yeah. The the beginning is pretty brutal, though. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. You ain't going to be compared to Bambi. <laughs> All right. Are we doing extra park hours, or are we wrapping this thing up this week? Is there uh, is there content to extra do to do extra park hours? <laughs> You said doo doo. I mean, doo-doo. I have an evergreen topic, but we don't. I mean, we could literally save it for another week. Gentlemen, 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 it's gentlemen. To, it's up to you guys. Extra park hours. Jimmy wants to kick me out of his house, so. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> let's let's throw this. <laughs> All right. So since Scott could be potentially sick or just sick with Earth Day birthday dirt, we'll uh, save extra park hours for another time. Yes. My right wife's now, gonna run out here with a bag and just. Put it over your head and drag you out of here. Yeah, does that mean you're not here for the show next week? No, because I'm not going for two weeks oh. from yesterday. Okay. So I will be here next week. Okay. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. The following Thursday, I'll be gone. Okay. The Thursday after that... You're also gone. I'm also gone, but I'll be in California. Mm, okay. California. So the 12th and the 19th... We have to figure something out. Okay, we'll do a virtual, uh, virtual something or other. Yes. If you do virtually, I could probably uh, chime in. Chime in at least for the California one. Yeah. Okay. That actually might be really cool to like walk around celebration, like doing the podcast. There's supposed to be a, a parks panel. There is. Oh, yes. that's right. There is. I started looking at the park schedule or the panel schedule. It's not complete because yeah. they only have like. A, Ian McDermott's the only one that has a panel right now. I'm mm. like, okay, they're not going to just do Ian McDermott. They've got to have, like, well, Ewan McGregor's not going to have a solo panel. He'll probably be uh, on that. There's a merchandise panel on the 27th. The parks panel is also the 27th. Is that the day we're doing the podcast? That's a Friday, so no. Do oh, guys- there's a Star Tours panel also that day. Well, you know what? Uh, if we don't get it on that week's show, we can do it on the following week's yeah. show. Unless 30, you want to move it to Friday. 35 years of Star Tours. That's awesome. Uh, it doesn't say who's hosting it. So, 
We are getting our picture with Obi Wan. Nice. Uh, nice. Which means you're going to see episodes. You're going to see two episodes of uh, Obi Wan Kenobi. Two uh, you know, I don't know if they will they? because it should be on Thursday night, right? Mm -hmm. Or Thursday morning when they do because it, it, Thursday morning is like the big, you know, the big event or whatever. The uh, the first panel is an hour and a half, and it's going to include Obi Wan Kenobi, uh, Andor, and uh, the Mandalorian. There's no way they're going to be able to show us two episodes and cover all three of those shows mm. and, you know, and introduce the whole, like, welcome to Celebration 2022. There's no way they're going to do all because an hour after that panel, a new panel starts in there with Ian McDermott. So I don't see, unless that's just like a red herring. Yeah. Like red maybe herring. they're trying to fake us out or like, you know, or maybe they're going to do something where they're going to play it on every screen throughout the whole convention. So everybody gets to watch it. I don't know. I, you know I'm not sure how they'll. But I'm not sure that we'll get to see it early. Can we come with you? Yeah. We Dude, have Megacon. Roll a, it's the week after. Oh. oh, yeah. See, he can just put it. If, his if Scott didn't have his soccer, soccer yeah. mm -hmm. we, we need to plan this out because they their uh, podcast stage is so much cooler because they actually have like a, a an area and like they can have people come up and they'll put you on the schedule. It's not like we're doing a podcast in the hallway and nobody knows we're there. Yeah. We'll be in the program. Okay. So two I mean, years. I'll I'll be fine to do it in the hallway too. It's, it's <laughs> yeah. Okay with it's that. Good too. people watching. Yeah. Oh no, no doubt, no doubt. Especially there, man. Because I I just love things you get to see, like Admiral Akbar dressed as a Ghostbuster walking around with a ghost trap, yelling out, "It's a trap." <laughs> That's awesome. It's a trap. I want stuff like that in my life. All right. All right. Say goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Have a fantastic week, and we'll rejoin you next week with Jimmy. Maybe.